Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the volume of a cone. Now in the previous video we looked at the volume of a pyramid and the volume of a pyramid in general was equal to a third times the base area, so the area of the base, times by the height. Now a cone is just a special kind of pyramid. It's a pyramid with a circular base. The base is a circle. So therefore the volume of the cone, if you have a radius r and a height h, it's going to be a third times the area of the base. Now, if you've got a circle of radius r, we know the area of the circle is pi r squared, so it's a third times pi r squared, we don't need the time symbol, times by the height, and the height is h, so we get this formula here. But it's just a special case of the volume of a pyramid. So let's apply it to these examples here. We've got A, the volume of this is equal to a third times by pi multiplied by the radius squared, so 3 squared, multiplied by the height, which is 10. And if we put that in our calculator, so a third times pi times 3 squared times by 10, that gives us 30 pi, so 30 dots of pi, or if you want it as a decimal, then it's going to be, if you press the SD key, 94.2. And what's the unit? Well, it's a volume, and these in centimetres will be centimetres cubed. And that was to three significant figures. So that's the final answer. What about the second one? So we do the same again. We got the volume is equal to third multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius squared. Now, if the diameter of this circle is 12, then the radius would be half of that, which is 6, because the radius is half the diameter. So 6 squared multiplied by the height, which is 5. And if we do that on our calculator, a third times pi times 6 squared times 5 is 60 pi. Or as a decimal, if you press the SD key, 188 0.5, that was to one decimal place. And what's the unit? Well, that was in metres, so it will be metres cubed. And there we go.